SQL in the most pure sense here is structured query language, uh, and it's ultimately used to interact with databases. It allows you to gather insights very quickly, aggregate and join data, and importantly, easily visualize it. Some of the key functionality here is that SQL makes data analysis less manual, easy to QA, more robust. It's used to communicate with relational databases. Really what we're doing here is putting all of this data into a database or a data warehouse, and the database allows us to conduct ad hoc analysis, put this data into a BI to liberate the data and let our business users explore. So we have three basic primary SQL commands here that we're gonna be using in almost every single query. Select, the from, and the where. It is high level. It is general purpose. That means a couple things. It means that it is very far abstracted away from having to worry about things like managing the memory or the processing power on your computer, especially compared to other programming languages out there. It's very easy to learn. It's easy to even to look at and read, and it's easy to develop on and then build out for whatever you're trying to accomplish. You can take many of the things that you might be doing in SQL or Excel and apply those in ways that are really more effective with the programming language because it's operating line by line and gives you a lot of flexibility about how those calculations and data manipulations might be executed. If you think about basic data manipulation and cleaning, that is where Python really starts to become a lot easier uh, to work with the data. Focus on these three core areas, data manipulation, data visualization, and then some basics about a couple libraries for machine learning and predictive analytics. R is a well-known functional programming language in the data space. However, it often doesn't get as much attention as its sister Python. Within this space, R is very good at what it does. R is open source, making a preferable alternative to other math functional programming languages that require licenses like MATLAB. The three most common use cases for R, data transformations, statistical analyses, and data visualization. Data transformations are where we would add or modify values in a data table for further analysis. Statistical analyses specifically examine the statistical properties and significance of the data we have. And data visualization allows us to present our data in an intuitive and digestible manner. SQL, it's a blunt instrument. It's really, really good at the heavy lifting. Then you get into Python and R, smaller, more refined tools. This is where you refine your data. It's not for heavy lifting. This is for nuance. This is for stat analysis, for feature engineering, cool visualizations as well. Start with SQL, you do the heavy lifting, you start modeling data using Python, do things like pivots, which are really, really hard in SQL, but really easy in Python, or a regression analysis, just like one line of Python, and then create a visualization. And you share that. 